tool is normal. So what this tool will do is allow us to provide more service to the frontline policing officers, either via our search and rescue capacities. Uh, sometimes, I mean, we find ourselves in situations where you need to get into a, a certain angle on a situation to be able to do the photography, but also to actually display any dangers for the general public. So we can use this tool to better service the frontline members uh, that support services reaches out to. I think you know, uh, what I've you know mentioned earlier is that the provisions are already in place to safeguard any uh, privacy concerns that the general public would have via our uh, relationship with Transport Canada and the guidelines that are put in place that we respect under Transport Canada and the accreditation, the certification uh, that they need to have in order to operate this. In addition to that, we have our own <laughs> internal policy around uh, the usage of it to safeguard that uh, uh, privacy piece of the general public. I just backed up and he went in the bush, did he miss him? And there are uh, uh, savings in court time as well. Uh, judges and juries and defense are uh, very appreciative of the fact of when this, the evidence is presented in this uh, type of way. So therefore it reduces the cost of court time for our members that are going in to testify uh, as a result of a fatal uh, collision on the highway that has a criminal element to it.